Manchester City's under-23s can take a giant stride towards retaining the Premier League 2 crown by beating Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium this evening. The Blues currently sit seven points clear at the top of the table. If they win their last three games of the campaign beginning tonight, they will be champions once again. Will be the day in which they're presented with the Premier League 2 trophy that they won last season. At the moment, they've got some defending to do because Arsenal are making progress, but... Oh, it's gone straight in! Well, it was a cross that went wrong, but Kieran Slicker was expecting it to go across the face of the goal, and it just drifted into the back of the net. Arsenal working out to Sousa. Sousa puts the cross in towards Biereth, but he mishits it, slices it a little bit. And Slicker, who's expecting it to go in front of him towards the centre forward, suddenly finds himself clawing at thin air. And Sousa has given Arsenal a surprise lead. And the flag stays down. What a chance for Liam Delap. And he's put it into the back of the net. Well, the Blues weren't behind for long, and Liam Delap rode the offside trap, kept his nerve, and slipped it beyond Grashik. And the Blues, who fell behind unluckily, are soon level. You can see the bend in the run, the assistant on the far side saying he came from an onside position. The ball threw from Adoro. A quick look at the assistant from De Lapp, then a quick look at Grashik, and De Lapp puts the ball into the back of the goal, and City are level. Here's Patino for Arsenal. It's opening up for him. Now Hutchinson joins in, and Beareth misses it, and City are delighted that he did. got some dangerous players, Patino's a creative central midfielder, Biereth an out-and-out -out striker, Hutchinson a tricky winger, and all three of them were involved there. Bob, who had that terrific chance right on half-time to give the Blues the lead, here's City's goal scorer Delap. tries to work an opening, and found the angle narrowing all the time, and in the end it goes into the side netting to give credit to the defender because he was forcing De Lapp to go wider and wider and in the end Dinze forced De Lapp to hit it into the side netting rather than the back of the goal Hutchinson with the delivery and it was a good opportunity and Arsenal in front through Biereth the Blues couldn't defend the high ball and it broke kindly for Biereth and Biereth swept it home. Well, there's around about 2,000 Arsenal fans in the Emirates tonight. And they are absolutely joyous. The free kick coming in. It bounced off GRB and just set up for Biereth to score. And Slicker could do nothing to prevent it. Henry Francis, Kirk again. Support from Patino. On it goes to Hutchinson. He has a go, and Slicker makes the save. Well, I wasn't sure where that was going, and I don't think Slicker was totally sure either. It hit the goalkeeper's body and kind of span off. It ended up going away from the net, but it was just a moment there, well, we weren't sure where that ball was ending up Blues need an equaliser to put the title back in their hands again and they might get an equaliser now but it's a great save by Grashik to deny McAtee well he's in wonderful scoring form James McAtee it fell to the right player on the foot that he would have loved it to have fallen to but that trusty left boot just couldn't quite elude the save of Grashik and the Arsenal goalkeeper keeps it at 2-1 just beyond the midpoint of the second half Grashik clears it 
Alves can't get to it. Bielith tries to get through, and the referee says penalty. And it's going from bad to worse for the under-23s. The referee's brandishing a card as well for Shea Charles. It's all going horribly wrong for City. Charles gets a yellow card. Arsenal have a penalty. The challenge by Charles on Biereth. And it will be Biereth himself who will take the responsibility and try to put City two behind. Here comes Biereth. And he's tucked it in. Arsenal three, City one. The Blues in a hurry to restart the game because they know they have to try and take something from this one. But it is looking increasingly unlikely. Biereth's penalty. Slicker couldn't get to it. Delap. Bob. Delap once more. Hits the shot, scores a wonderful goal. That is a fantastic finish from Liam Delap. Round about three minutes of added time still to go. And there's hope for the Blues. Well, I tell you what, when he connects with a shot, it stays hit. This is a brilliant finish. And it just gives City a glimmer of hope. We're into the third minute of five of added time. Liam Delap gets his second goal of the night. The deep cross, he loses everyone! Oh, McAtee! What a finish! Can you believe it? What an extraordinary end to the game. Stoppage time. Liam Delap makes it 3-2, and James McAtee makes it 3-3. Delap and McAtee have hauled the Blues level at 3-3, but there was even time for Beareth to try and make it 4-3, but he put it wide of the goal, and City somehow have summoned up the courage, the spirit, and the determination of champions to earn themselves a draw, a precious point that might just help them retain the Premier League 2 title. A quite brilliant evening's entertainment ends in a 3-3 draw. Sosa gave Arsenal the lead, Delap equalised, two goals from Biret looked to have given Arsenal the points, but Delap in the third minute of added time, and then McAtee in the fifth, have made it 3-3, and the champions still have the title in their own hands. The final score, an extraordinary night. Arsenal 3, City 3.